The ocean depths hold countless stories, myths and legends passed down generations, tales of colossal creatures lurking in the blue. These stories ignite our imagination, they remind us of the ocean's power, and the mysteries it still holds. One such legend is the Megalosaurus, a giant shark, said to dwarf all others, but is it real or just a sailor's tale? The Megalosaurus legend likely stems from misinterpretations, ancient people finding giant teeth, remains too large for any known fish. These discoveries sparked awe and fear. Stories of a monstrous shark emerged, a creature with jaws big enough to swallow a boat. These tales spread far and wide, adding to the mystique of the deep. However, we now know the Megalosaurus is not real, at least not by that name. The name scientists use is Megalodon, a subtle difference but an important one. Megalodon was indeed a real shark, but it lived millions of years ago. Its fossils tell a story of a truly colossal predator, one that ruled the oceans long before humans existed. While the Megalosaurus myth might be busted it serves as a reminder of our fascination with the unknown. The ocean still holds many secrets, creatures yet to be discovered, and mysteries waiting to be solved. So let's dive deeper into the world of Megalodon, and separate fact from fiction in this tale of the giant shark. Let's set the record straight, there is no prehistoric shark called Megalosaurus. That name belongs to a dinosaur, a fearsome predator that roamed the land. Our subject is the Megalodon, a shark of truly gigantic proportions. Its name means big tooth, and for good reason. Megalodon teeth are colossal, some exceeding 7 inches in length. These are not just big for a shark, they are gigantic for any creature. Finding these teeth sparked the legend, fueling tales of a monstrous sea creature. Scientists use these teeth to estimate Megalodon's size, a complex process with some uncertainty. Estimates suggest Megalodon grew over 50 feet long, that's bigger than a bus. Its jaws were immense, powerful enough to crush a whale's skull. Imagine the power of such a creature. It's no wonder Megalodon inspires awe and fear, even millions of years after its extinction. The existence of Megalodon is not debated, we have the fossils to prove it. These ancient remnants tell a story, a story of a time when giants ruled the seas, and the Megalodon was king. Megalodon wasn't the only giant shark, prehistoric oceans were home to others, like the Helicoprian with its bizarre tooth whorl, and the Cretoxyrhina, a fast and agile hunter. These sharks were formidable predators, but none reached the size of Megalodon, even today we have large shark species, the Great White, a master of ambush, the Whale Shark, a gentle giant filtering plankton, and the Basking Shark, another filter feeder cruising the oceans. These sharks remind us of the diversity of the shark world, However, even the largest great white is dwarfed by Megalodon. Imagine encountering such a creature in the water, its size alone would be intimidating, but its predatory power would be truly terrifying. Megalodon was an apex predator at the top of its food chain. The existence of these giant sharks raises questions about the evolution of marine life, the factors that lead to such incredible size, and the reasons for their eventual extinction. These are mysteries that continue to fascinate scientists today. Megalodon lived during the Cenozoic era, from around 23 million to 3.6 million years ago. This period followed the extinction of the dinosaurs, allowing marine life to flourish in this new world. And Megalodon? It was at the top of the food chain. Its diet consisted mainly of whales, and evidence suggests it hunted whales larger than itself. Imagine the battles that took place in those ancient oceans, the power of the Megalodon against the size of its prey, a true clash of titans. Fossil records show Megalodon inhabited oceans worldwide from warm tropical waters to colder regions. Its distribution suggests adaptability and a dominance over a range of marine environments. This was truly a global predator, but even giants fall. Megalodon eventually went extinct with the exact reasons still debated. Climate change, competition for food, or a combination of factors. The disappearance of this apex predator left a void, one that shaped the oceans we know today. The idea of Megalodon surviving into the modern era is intriguing and a popular topic for documentaries and fictional stories. Could this giant shark still lurk in the deepest, unexplored parts of the ocean? While the idea is captivating, it's highly unlikely. Megalodon fossils haven't been found in millions of years. Its preferred prey, large whales, are well studied, and there's no evidence of Megalodon attacks on these creatures or any other signs of its existence. Furthermore, Megalodon was a warm water shark, making it unlikely to survive in the cold, deep ocean depths. 
These depths, while vast, are not hospitable to a creature of Megalodon's size and dietary needs. While the possibility of Megalodon's survival is slim, it highlights the vastness and mystery of our oceans. There's still so much we don't know, and new species are discovered every year. Could there be other large creatures yet to be found? The Megalosaurus myth, while inaccurate, reminds us of the power of stories, stories that inspire curiosity about the natural world. The ocean in particular holds a special allure, with its depths remaining largely unexplored, a realm of wonder and potential discovery. While Megalodon might be gone, its legacy lives on in the fossils that tell its story, and in the imaginations of those captivated by the giants of the past. It serves as a reminder of the ever-changing nature of life on Earth. So the next time you look out at the ocean, remember the Megalodon, not as a monster, but as a testament to the power of nature and the countless wonders yet to be uncovered in the depths below. What mysteries still lurk in the ocean's embrace? Subscribe to our channel to explore more incredible creatures and dive deeper into the wonders of the natural world.